Hey, what's hey going on? Johnny's disappeared, gone here. crazy. Welcome back to some more bully. with a visit. I don't know, don't care, but he sure does yell a lot, huh? You do not have permission to be here. Wow, game, you really like to put up with a fight.
That's not crazy! Jimmy, you gotta get me out of here! You gotta get into the control room to open the door! Get an orderly uniform from the laundry room! The dropout set me up! What are you waiting for? You want your break? Man, this is so boring. Thanks for getting me, kid. Hey, let's go out the back way. Follow me. Thanks for getting me out, Jimmy. How'd you get in there to begin with? Some of the local kids said they'd gotten together with Lola. I went a little crazy. I can believe that. Yeah, anyways, I gotta find Lola, see if it's true or not. See ya. All right, Johnny. Have fun. That's that nonsense you right, with. Me, if you want. It's a pretty cool game. It's all about killing things and taking their stuff. What was it called? Grottos and Gremlins or something like that? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm here to beat you up and evict you. Enough talking. Let's fight. Let's. Tell me what the you're supposed to be.
Just... I said I'd do it. Junior, I need you to help me out here. If there's tracks nearby, you're on. What are you looking at? Nothing. Well, it looks like you're looking at me, scumbag. Like I said, nothing. Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you. My name's Jimmy. Zoe. I was at Bullworth once. I got kicked out. Why? Let's just say Mr. Burton is a dirty creep. Seriously? I would love to teach that guy a lesson. He bullies everyone. You know, he goes jogging every day and regularly uses the porta potties in the park. Yuck. Yeah. So if we could catch him in one on top of a hill, then Mr. Burton could have a really interesting time in it. Yeah, but they're all chained together. We'll need to get some bolt cutters. Go get some from the Spaz Industries building and meet me at the park. Make sure no one sees you.
on to that. This looks useful. You'd get a lot further in life if you look good. Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Now what? Burton always goes to the can when he goes running. We've got to make sure he uses this one and send him on a trip. I'll take care of this. You make sure he doesn't use one of the other ones. This sounds like it's gonna be good. I'm really starting to like that Lola. this somehow. It's done. Back to me, buddy. I need your help. I think tonight, me and my friend.
really the best Oh, here he is, Mr. Big. Yeah, it was you, creep. What was me? Don't play innocent with us. I tried that when father caught me with Nanny. He gave me a good thrashing, and I've got half a mind to give you one. Hey, look, just get to the point. Someone stole our boxing trophies, buddy. They were heirlooms. Well, it wasn't me, rich boy, so relax. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? I bet it was those grease balls. I know it, they've always hated us. And so much for peace in our time, Popper. Just great. Let's get them. Yes, it's time to teach those poor, disrespectful scum a lesson. Wait, relax. Maybe it wasn't them. Maybe it was someone else. Nobody hates us, apart from them. Oh yeah, they do. Everyone hates you. You're all awful. Oh, la-dee-da, now he tells us. You are pathetic, Hopkins. You're not a leader. Out of my way. Come on, men. Let's go. Okay. It's war. Hold on. Wait here. I'll go get your trophy back from those grease balls. Oh, man. All right. So that's what we have to do. I'm beginning to think it's true. Vance, did you guys steal the Preppy's trophies? No way, man. After the townie's been saying all that stuff about Lola and made Johnny crazy, we don't care about those stuck-up jerks. The townies? Really? Yeah, and Johnny says you're no friend of ours anymore. But since you got him out, I'll let you walk away from this meeting. Well, since I already beat you, I guess I believe you. Doofus! <laughs> my stomach. Get 
in there, you little sucker! <laughs> Better hope you don't get rabies. All right, come on. Look on their They're burning those trophies down at the docks. Well, Popper, what did you find? Yeah, who took our trophies? Don't tell me. It was the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yeah, either it was the Tooth Fairy or the Grease Balls. I wonder which one. Actually, trust fund babies. It was neither. It was those townies. Which townies? The ones who hang out by the factory. Them? Why would they steal our trophies? Don't talk crap, Hopkins. I'm not. I've got a picture to prove it. Why? They don't have any problems with us. Yeah, poor kids just love rich kids who act like stuck-up jerks, don't they? Listen, you over-fortunate numbskull. They did everything. Put Johnny Vincent in the home, let the rats out of the library, everything, including your trophies. Why? Because I listened to Gary. So it is your fault. No, it was Gary's fault. You, my friend, have got delusions of grandeur. Nobody cares about you or Gary. You're ridiculous. Come on, Biff. 
Let's leave this king of this school to his pathetic little fantasies. You are an idiot, Hopkins. I've got a photograph. You know what you can do with that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> No sweat. <laughs> that bomb makes me feel better about myself. You She said, she said, you little Congo. You Congo's a country. Ah, Hopkins. Now, I'm not one to give in to popular sentiment. You can tell that by your clothes. What? I'm saying you dress great. Irrelevant. As I said, I am not a people pleaser, but in your case, I'm going to make an exception. An exception? Cool. Yes, you are without a doubt the least popular boy in this school right now. Even that fat child who wets himself is more popular than you. Coincidentally, it has also come to my attention that you are a filthy, dirty, foul-mouthed, awful little vandal. Yeah, well, we already knew that. Very droll. A comedian till the end. Well, you'll have to pursue your comedic talents elsewhere, boy. Bullworth is not for you. I'm not the one who's funny. You know what's funny? You. You're a joke, you old creep. You and your stuck-up, lame-ass school with its bullies and sex-pest teachers. This place is a dump, and you're a big-nosed freak. This school rewards losers and bullies. I just stand up to them. You painted obscene graffiti on the town hall, boy. I have it on good authority it was you. Oh, yeah? Then who squealed? Tell me that. A commendable pupil did feel the need to tell me you were responsible for this outrage. Gary Smith! Look, I may have painted a few jokes on the town hall, but that kid likes to torture people. Gary Smith is the next head of this school. He's responsible, courteous, and not afraid of being an unpopular leader. You are blind, old man. Blind! And you are leaving. I tried to contact your mother, but she's still off on a cruise. Until I hear from her, I will have to let you stay here in your room. But you may not wear the school uniform uh, or attend classes. Gotta be kidding you are me. leaving the academy to attend to your education elsewhere. Now get out! Whatever, man. How can I be
Hey, Jimmy. How you doing? Terrible. Everybody hates me. Everybody might hate you, but everybody laughs at me. Yeah, that's true. Those kids are jerks anyway, but I tried. I know. I mean, I tried to do the right thing, make people happy, stop all the fighting, make everyone calm down. Now everyone laughs at me. People used to be scared of me, and now I'm a joke. It was Gary. It must have been. I know. I can't deal with the fact that that kid beat me. Well, it ain't over yet. God, one minor setback, and you're acting like a baby. You're pathetic. I've been expelled. They're just waiting for my mother to come back from her 58th honeymoon, then I'm out of here. How was that a minor setback? Losers! Oh, shut up, you fat dork. Whatever. You and your has-been friend don't scare me. See? Even a dork like that laughs at me. We gotta prove Gary was behind everything. We don't even know if it was Gary. All we know is townie kids beat up a bunch of Bullworth kids. I mean, I don't even care anymore. Well, we've gotta find out what's going on. Come on! Okay, but if we're gonna take on those townies, we're gonna need a bunch of backup. Someone big who doesn't hate me yet. Russell. Russell. He'll be at his house at Old Bullworth Vale. Man, I got a little karate or something. Russell, I need your help to bust into the dropout's hideout. Only if Russell gets to destroy. Locked. Oh! You little 
go through the Red Star building. This gate is controlled by an electronic security switch.
beat all of them. Hang on, Jimmy. You'll see. Hey, uh. Hi there. Hey, if you date me now, you'll be able to tell your friends about it in the future when I made it big. Like your kind around here. So much got. You can run, but I can run way. too. Back off, idiot! Like Come on, hurt me. Over here, Jimmy. All right, let's fight. Have a chance. gonna be fun.
enough? You want some more? Come on, big guy. You still think messing with me is a good idea? No, no, no. Good. That's what I thought. Now, what made you think it was a good idea in the first place? Oh, man. I hate that school. My parents couldn't afford to send me there, and now I'm stuck in this dump of a town. Gary said we'd make them all pay. Wait a second. Gary? That backstabbing, two-faced sociopath put you up to this? Ah, I bet he said the two of you would take over the school or some crap. Hey, how'd you know? Because he told me the same garbage. Didn't do me any good either. Come on. You're gonna help me make him pay for his lies. You know, you're all right, Jimmy. Yeah, okay. See ya. Ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins.